today we're treating this localized severe recession and um, I think it was kind of a result of some just factitious habit on this tooth and um, you can see that it's real clean so that's good and uh, we're going to be putting some alloderm under here, chromely positioning this and um, I don't expect that we're going to get full root coverage but um, hopefully we'll get you know at least three quarters. Okay, this is a two-week healing. We put some perio pack on there, and um, and what I want to do is keep packing it to keep that exposed alloderm covered. Because what I did was left some alloderm open so that we can see if the soft tissue is going to granulate into it. So we want to pack it again. So this is three-week healing of the um, alloderm grafting, and. Um, the last picture we took, the graft was exposed, and I could because I left some out. And now you can see that um, the soft tissue is growing into the graft. So we're going to be packing this again, and then we'll just keep an eye on things. But that's going to allow for a lot more root coverage than if we just um, did not leave some of the alloderm exposed. This is one month healing and we've been packing this repeatedly. I think now we, we don't need to pack it. It's going to have them dab chlorhexidine on there and I'll take a look at it in a couple weeks. Okay, this is a six week healing now and we're starting to get good ingrowth of the um, soft tissue into the graft and it looks like it's all all taking right there so um, I think I'm going to take a look at this in about a month. This is two and a half months post treatment of the alloderm graft on number four.